Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Teresa? I am very well, thank you. How, how was you? your How was your day? Very busy, but okay. it was a good day. Good. How many classes do you teach during the day? Uh, some days, four hours, but most of days, two hours okay. in the afternoon. Okay. So the rest of the day, I imagine that you do administrative work. Yes, I have a lot of work to do. Sure. Check exams, plan classes, yes. upload yes. grades to the platform. And some, yes, some meetings and a lot of things. It's okay. a very interesting work. Sure. Yes, I think it it's the best profession in the world. <laughs> yes, it's very amazing. <laughs> yes, it is. Douglas, how are you? Douglas, Douglas, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Teresa? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so maybe Douglas has issues with his audio. Will be. Okay, but anyways. So you're free Saturday and Sundays, Teresa? I work Saturdays morning. Okay. Until 10.30. Oh, that's good. But I start very early on, on Saturdays uh, at, at 6.30. Oh, it is early. Yes, very early. Okay, nice. Robert, are you there, Robert? Yes. How are you today? I'm perfectly fine, but as I have posted in the chat group of what uh, on the whatsapp chat group i have experienced issues on one dot two and and two dot five knowledge check okay i have wow. tried to advance as far as i as i was able to today in order to fulfill the the request that marvin has made us but i still have issues with those two knowledge check okay so have you checked and try to correct it and, and it's still the same? I have tried any possible answer that, right. that has to be related to, to, the, to the exercise. Right, right, okay. But, but even, even, even the, I have tried all of those forms, uh, the, the system is always uh, telling me that every single answer is bad. Okay, okay. Let me remind them tomorrow because I see them every day at 6 a.m. Um, and I will ask them to see if there is a way they can correct and improve that situation so you guys can move with your, um, with your exercises. Yes, it, it, even due to that, I was afraid of finishing uh, the, the midterm test. Because I don't know if I can go ahead and find exactly the same issue with the midterm test. Right, right. Okay, let, let me see what they say tomorrow. Like I said, I see them at 6 a.m. every, well, not at 6 a.m., but uh, I, I, I visit their place from 6 to 8 in the morning. So I'm going to ask tomorrow to see if they give me an answer. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. good. So everybody so, else, welcome back. Jose, Robert, Douglas, Nidia, Evelyn, and all the others. I hope you had a good day. Was a very good day. Nice. Good, good, good. All right, so let's briefly uh, talk about yesterday. Do you remember the topic we discussed yesterday? What model? In past. Okay, past models. What is the function of a past model? Mm -hmm. They. Now, when you say past model, the word past is literal. Every time that you use a past model, you're talking about something that
that didn't happen in the past or something that happened in the past and you wish that things have been different or sometimes you wish you could change the situation but you cannot and remember that every model has a different function uh, today, since we have some people that are having problems with the platform, I'm going to play the video uh, that we have in the platform. So that way, everybody has a better idea of what we're talking about when we have the conference. So while they fix the situation for everybody, everybody will have access to the, to the video in the platform. In platform. Okay. Yes. All right, so let's start with the first one. Let's see this here. Hold on. Do you see anything? Not yet. Not yet, okay, let's see. Where is this? Okay, do you see that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What do you see? The video. The video about class model? Yes. Um Freddie, can you read the yellow bubble? Yeah. I wasted a lot of money. Once because I thought I needed to. Okay, fine. Uh, Jose, can you read the blue bubble? When I had, when I had the opportunity, I should have. Okay. So in the video, uh, the girl right here she explains different forms of how you can express ideas related with the past. So here we go. Pay attention. I had to. I needed to all describe obligations in the past. Okay. Uh, did you hear what she said? No. 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 You didn't. Okay. Let's see. So you were just seeing her move her lips. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Now, how do I? Okay, but this is what I wanted to explain. Should have, was supposed to, had to, and needed to. All of them, they are related with the past. Um, and they have different uses. Look at the first example. Douglas, can you read the first example? I should have stayed home and studied. And okay. after that, say, it was a good idea, but I didn't do it. Very good. So when you say, I should have stayed home and studied, the message is, it was a good idea, but you didn't do it, right? Can you change this situation? You cannot. It's too late. It already happened, so there is nothing you can do, right? Yeah. Okay, so that is the first one. Uh, Robert, can you read this, the other one, please? The other one says the second one. Yes, I was supposed to. The second one says I was supposed to be starting this weekend. It was required, but I didn't do it. Exactly. Um, do you remember when you were in school and you had physical education? Yeah. Were you supposed to bring the everyday uniform or were you supposed to come with pants and tennis shoes? Pants and tennis. Right. So what happened if you had physical education and you came with your regular uniform? Your physical education teacher would tell you, you were supposed to come with tennis shoes and comfortable clothing. So that was what was required but you came with your everyday uniform. So I was supposed to, we were supposed to. Nidia, can you read the next one? Okay. 
um, I have to wear a uniform. We were forced to do this. Okay. So when you went to school, whether it was a private school or a public school, a uniform was a uniform. It was mandatory, right? So it says right here, we were forced to do it. So wearing a uniform was not optional. It, it was something mandatory. So in other words, when you wanna express something that is mandatory, you're supposed to say had to. Are we okay so far? Yes. Okay. Uh, Cecilia, can you please read the next example? Hello. Hi. Can it's you hear? The first, right? The, what is it? The, the first. The first. The first. Yeah, I didn't have to go. Okay. I didn't have to go with my friends, but I did. Okay. There was no obligation. Right, right. So I didn't have to. It's like people were not expecting you to do something, but you still went ahead and, and did it. Right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So I didn't have to. For example, imagine that it's a Sunday morning. Um, it's the day you stay home. And you say, well, I didn't have to wake up. I didn't have to wake up early today, but I did. What would be a reason why you wake up early on a Sunday morning? Anybody? Because, because you have to go to church. Okay, good. You have to go to church. And many times people prefer to go in the morning service or in the morning mass. So they're free the rest of the day. Good. Any other reasons why you would wake up early on a Sunday morning? If your favorite team will play. Mm -hmm. Okay. Morning. <laughs> yeah, especially if they're playing in Europe, which the time is completely different. Yeah. Okay. That happened. All right. Good. good. Any other opinions why you would wake up early on a Sunday morning and it's your only day off? Go to the beach with your family, probably. Good, good, very good. So there you have three examples. Uh, you need to go to church. You want to enjoy your family, or maybe you want to watch. Uh, you want to watch your favorite soccer team play. Good. And the last one, <laughs> volunteer. Can you please read the last one? I thought I needed to have more clothes. I okay. thought this was necessary. Okay, so when you say, I thought I needed, uh, sometimes you do something, but you don't really need to do it, but you still go ahead and, and do it. If you give money to a person, even if they have 20 pairs of shoes, there's a possibility that will say, well, I thought I needed a different color of shoes. So they go ahead, they buy it, but maybe it wasn't necessary. Okay, are we okay with the first part? Yes. Okay. Okay, do you remember past models? Guys? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we have past models. Uh, that's what we were practicing yesterday. Now, should have. What is the contraction of should have? Should have. 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 Okay, now let me ask you this. Do you remember the five parts that you use when you are producing sounds? 
Can you repeat that question, teacher? Um, when you when you're making sounds, when you're making sounds, hold on. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. With interference. Okay. Um, I was asking. I think we have to close our, our microphones to hear you. Yes, I better. think somebody needs to mute. The, okay, there. Much better. Okay, can you guys hear me? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, I was asking you um, do you remember the five parts that you use when you produce sounds? Uh, lips. Okay. Good. You use your lips. Lips. Teeth. Teeth. Tongue. 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 Good. Number four. Okay. What if I say like this? When you're saying, when you speak the alpha, it's the one with that noise. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Is it is it better now? Yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I yeah. hope so. Anyways, so we were saying um, yeah. lips, teeth, teeth, tongue, tongue. Okay, when when you say the alphabet, you go A B C D E. What is moving? Your mouth. Okay, listen carefully. A B C D E F G H I. So what is moving? Your face. Your, your, fac your facial muscles. Okay. Your facial muscles. And what is number five? This right here. What's the name of this? Throat? Mm, no. Not exactly. What's the name of this part here? Joe? Uh, yes, that, that is your jaw. So once again, I, I think who's making the... Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so once again, you have your teeth, you have your lips, you have your tongue, you have your facial muscles, and you have your jaw, with the, which is this part here. Yeah. So you say A, B, C, D, F, and if you analyze the five parts that I just mentioned, they, they play together. And that's why it's very important when you're speaking, your articulation is really, really important. Now, what do you understand by the word articulation? What is articulate? The, the way moment. to pronounce the word, to pronounce in the correct way. Okay, so, so you pronounce in the right way, but the movements that you make, that is the articulation. Have you ever had the chance of talking with a person and this person doesn't open the mouth too much? Yes. yes. And, it's, and it's, it's hard to, to understand. understand. Exactly. It's difficult to understand. So the opposite happens when you articulate sounds good. So your articulation has to be very good. And that's why you need to keep that in, in mind, the five different things that you use. So let's continue here. Should have. Okay, let me check this one here. All right. 
How do you pronounce this? Was. 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 How do you pronounce this? Where? 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 Okay. Where? Look, look here. Look here. Um, when you're talking about the past tense of verb to be, in this case, you say was and you say were. You don't say where. If you say where, it's because you're saying you're talking about places. Places. Right? So, how do you say, donde estaba usted in English? How do you say that? Where were you? Where were you being? Okay, listen to this. Donde estaba usted? That is simple past. Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Exactly. Only where were you? Where were you? Because if you say were, that is simple past. If you say been, then you're going to present perfect. So you have to choose only one. So imagine. Where were you? So imagine that you come to your house at two in the morning. Your husband or your wife are very angry with you. What is the first question mm -hmm. they will ask you? Where were you? Exactly. Where were you? <laughs> Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Exactly. Where so you, you don't you don't say where were you? Uh -uh, you don't say that. You say. Where were you? Where were you? Okay. Um, when do you say you were supposed to? When you had to do something but you didn't. Right. So you know it's uh, it, September, it rains a lot. And then you say, I was supposed to have an umbrella, but I don't. I had to bring an umbrella because it's raining. Now imagine that it's sunny. I didn't have to bring the umbrella, but just in case. And then you have needed to. Now, when do you say needed to? When something's happening and you want to do something. Okay. A so. little bit, a little bit, uh, oh, oh my God. Uh-huh. <laughs> Regret. Regret. Okay, so needed to is like something is necessary to be accomplished. Yeah. Okay, had to <laughs> describes a strong obligation. Now I had to water the plants. Do you think that watering the plants is necessary? Yes, of course. Yes. yes, it is. What happens if you don't water the plants? They will die. They die, exactly. They so in that die. case, when you say had to, it's because you're expressing something that is uh, very necessary. Okay. Okay, so you say, I was supposed to, we were supposed to, when people were expecting that you uh, are supposed to do something. So when you go to church, how are you supposed to be dressed? Formal. Formal, exactly. Supposed, what, happens, what happens if you go in shorts? I am supposed to use... Not all the people seeing here. Okay. Yes, like I mean, like you can still go to church wearing shorts, but you were not supposed to be dressed like that. What does that mean? People were expecting something different from you. Yes. Okay. Okay, 
what is the contraction of should have? Should have. Should have. Should have. Should have. Should have. So he should have learned the English before. Now the question is, did this person learn English? No, he no. shouldn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't, exactly. So he should have learned English before. That means that for whatever reason, this person did not learn. Okay, now remember that when we say needed, it's because something was necessary. It's a little bit redundant to make a combination of needed with necessary because they're, uh, they, they're, they're family. What's the name of that exercise? What's the name of this exercise? John the Rock. Yes, jump rope. Jump rope. Yes. Actually, right now in the picture, she's just taking measures. <laughs> yes. Right? But maybe she can use the same measuring tape to jump rope. Right? Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the measuring tape would have a double function. Mm -hmm. Where is she? Uh, okay. What's the name of this? Think. Think. What's the name of the little thing where you get the water from? Uh, you can you can say it in two different forms. You can say tap. T A P. Exactly. So the doctors they tell you don't drink tap water. Don't drink tap water. But if you go to Freun, you go to EPA, you say, I need to buy a faucet. Faucet, yeah. yeah. Faucet. Now, what's the name of this thing? Weight no. scale. Yes, that's a weight scale. That's a scale. And this here? Curtain. Okay, that is a curtain. 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 Yes. Curtain. Yes. Curtain. All right. And this is the example that I was asked, uh, giving you before. Uh, it's a Sunday morning, but you don't have to wake up early, but you still do. Now, what is this? A clock. A clock. A clock. clock. Okay. What time is it in the clock? Almost seven in the morning. Oh, okay. Almost seven. seven. Okay. And what's the name of these things right here? Those are called hands of time. Hands of time. Yes. Hands of time. Yes. So imagine that you take your favorite watch to a jewelry store and you said, uh, I think I need to change batteries because the hands of time are not moving. Okay. Uh, any questions about the past model uh, review? No. no? Okay. Now, in every session, um, we're going to start making a combination of different activities because we cannot spend the whole hour just talking about grammar and grammar and grammar. So I will always bring you guys a topic so you guys can get in groups and practice also your pronunciation and your fluency. Got it? Yeah. Okay. So, can you see that screen? Yeah. Okay, what is, the, what is the topic? The video. It's the video. Oh, you still have the video there? Yes. yes. 
Okay, hold yes. on. Okay, let me eliminate the video. Okay. <laughs> do you still see the video? No. Not any. Okay, no. what do you see now? <laughs> oh, my question. Okay, now this is the second part for yesterday's uh, conversation. Do you remember yeah. the topics we had yesterday? Yeah, animals. Okay, animals. Animals. so we're gonna keep talking about animals, but the questions that we have for the second part are different than yesterday. So remember, this is the space where you guys need to talk, 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 and practice your fluency and your accuracy. So I'm going to make groups and you guys talk with each other. Okay. All right. So we have this here. One, two, three. And there we go. You see your group? No. 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 Not yet. Oh, yes. What okay. about now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Right so now, yeah. Let's go. Talk with each other and, and use the questions that we have there. Foto de las preguntas. You, you guys want to see the questions again? Yeah, no. I don't, maybe you can maybe you can copy the in questions. The WhatsApp group. Yeah. All right. In the, in the graph in the WhatsApp group, we have the question. Robert send send it. You see the questions now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, okay, so guys. I want to hear your opinions. Number one, what natural animal ability or talent would you like to have? Luis, tell me. Uh, tell us. <laughs> well, uh, I would like to have the ability to, to smell and to hear like a dog. Good. Yeah, they are very special for that. Yeah. Oh, okay, when, so when you say smell, you mean sniff. Sniff. Yes, sniff like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different, what, it, what is the difference between the smell and the sniff? A sniff is for animals. Uh, not necessarily, but usually you say sniff when you want to do something in particular with this sense. So oh. in the case of dogs, they train dogs, they take them to the airport so they can sniff drugs. They can sniff weapons. Yeah. Got it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All yeah. right, good. See you in a minute. Okay. Uh, and here. So now you, Freddy. Uh, Maybe fly. It's interesting for me. Fly like eagle. Useful animal in the world. Uh -huh. I think the most useful animal in the world is well. It's, it's kind of tough. I think it's or yeah. it's chicken or or a I cow. Think that probably, yeah, yeah, it's the cow. Or another yeah. that we can eat. Yes, the chicken maybe. It depends on the uses, but or the cow. Because you have man. food. If it's it yes, to eat, of course, is chicken can be. Yeah. But if it's it to to use as a pet, it's a dog. I don't mm -hmm. know. And if you need it for work. Well, if. The horse, maybe. Horse, maybe the horse. horse what animal yeah. best? Question. What animal best represents your character? <laughs> I yeah. think, in my case, 
the monkey. <laughs> Which monkey? I like to make gorillas. Uh, I, no, <laughs> no gorillas. Like uh, <laughs> I like to make jokes and like, like chimpanzees. Could be. <laughs> okay. What about the others? In my case, I believe is uh, the the dog. I think I am a loyal person. Like the dog is loyal with all human race. Okay. And Robert. Well, in my case, I think that it could probably be a wolf. Because, well, uh -huh. yes, but it's because wolves are always try to be with the, with the other wolves, try to help each other, try to make an, a strong relation, a relationship between them. Okay. And take care of each other, always. So, so you can say that there is a lot of teamwork. Absolutely. Yes. Very good. To me, it's probably my character is represented by a, a cat, for example. Mm -hmm. I don't know, the cats are, it means are uh, very brown, can be. The cats are, sometimes they are lazy. <laughs> but they, they are also very independent. Can be, can be. And clean too. Yes, but yeah, clean. definitely. <laughs> Hi. Yes, Don't worry about it. Another animal. I don't know if the if the question is is logical. A logical. No, no, no. Which which logical. question? <laughs> uh, what animal best represents your character? Uh huh. For example, I think um, I I will think um, in uh, Catalnica. Catalnica has not traduction. I think. What is that? She's he. It's, it's a bear. Old, but I am not talkative. Uh huh. Talkative. Yeah. And I think about uh, um, a dolphin. But I am, um, I don't want to say I'm so intelligent, but they are friendly and, and happy too. They are happy, yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you are happy. Are you happy? Yes, I, I, I like to be friendly and talk, but not about myself, but to make relation in the people feel well with me. Mm -hmm. And dolphins, they help people. Yes, yes, they are. I think they are marvelous animals. Yes, they mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, Astrid and Douglas? And in my case, I think maybe the wolf, because it is an animal that always got like different senses and abilities in being a leader and do different things to to help another in in that case wolves but in my case i i, I really i really like to help uh, another people in the things that i can do of course and i i i read in different things or i saw different kind of documentaries or things like that that they are they are le really great leaders so for that reason i want uh, i want to be a leader and i consider myself a, a a leader in my different aspects of my life so for that reason i really like wolves okay uh in my case i think that the the animal that represents my character maybe is the cocodrilo. 
I the crocodile? Crocodile. crocodile. Mm -hmm. Really? Because is very patient. I think that I am very patient. The crocodile. How do you say crocodile? Again? Crocodile. Crocodile. No. C-R-O-C-R-O. Croco. C-R-O. Crocodile. Yeah, crocodile. 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 The crocodile wait a, crocodile. Long, a long of time for your presa. Pray. Pray. And it's very patient. <laughs> what kind of animal is very persistent? <laughs> what kind? I don't know. Uh, what kind of animal? What? Persistent. Persistent. Yeah, persistent. Maybe. Persistent. Okay. Yeah, persistent. Maybe the tiger too. Uh, mm. It depends. I, I think the crocodile, like like Astrid is saying, like you know that if you're patient, your lunch is coming. <laughs> your lunch will come, but you have to be patient, and uh -huh. that means like pretend you're dead and your lunch will come. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, the next question. Do you think it is necessary to experiment on animals to test cosmetic and drugs? I think it depends on the situation. Kind of because, uh, for example, if, for example, the, the doctors or, or the scientists got the cure of something that just the humans have that the the products in the in the person and you see how react how is the reaction uh -huh. yeah yeah you know never will be the same animal the reaction from animal will be different yes it's not the so, same it's not the same in person yeah, never will be the same so that for, that's why you should understand to make some experiments on animals. Yes, we do our right. It's an excellent so, answer. What animals have the best life? I think that the dogs, the, the dogs that live in, in a house, of course. Yeah. They eat food, they got a nice bath, they got noodles and all that. I think that is the best life. If I want to be an animal, maybe well, a good dog. <laughs> what so, breed, Cecilia? What breed? What? What breed? A Doberman, a Pitbull? <laughs> a, a... I don't know. A Gorgi? I really like the Gorgi. Oh, which one is that? It's a uh, fluffy and... Is it a small dog? Yes, it's a small dog, like the Queen England dog. Okay. And what's the name you say? Gorgi. Gorgies. Yes. Okay. Fine. Okay, who else? Mm. Any kinds of domestic those, those domestic animals. All of them they have a good life at home. Cat, <laughs> parrot. Dog. But, but a chicken or a, or a, a hen, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm sorry. They will be your lunch one day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are the biggest difference between animals and humans? That the well, animal have a pure feeling in it. the humans. We are cruel. <laughs> so the we, we animals think, are more with sensible. Actions. We think too much, uh, and the, the the things that the animals only do it. Uh, 
animals are more sensible. You know, they are animals, but they are they have all fulfilling. So, but the way to be loyal is more different. Which, which question are you discussing right now? Uh, the question number seven. Oh, seven. Have you ever seen an animal that destroys their own natural habitat? Mm. Have you ever seen an animal that they destroyed their environment? No. no. Just. Just humans. Yeah. yeah. We are the I only think. species in the world that damage I think. the yeah. habitat of the other. Exactly. And in, in, in your own habitat, you know, it's like this is the only planet that we have and we're doing yeah. everything we can to, to destroy it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's okay. sad. It is. It is very yeah, sad. Not, uh, if animals well, could speak, good, mm -hmm. good. Yes, yes, you have four cats. Uh -huh, four cats. Yes. And they are they are very lovely too. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they are yes. beautiful. Yes. Should animals be kept in zoos? Douglas? Oh, in this question I think they not be it, it is related with the with the with the last one because in my case I think the animals that have the best life it is all that they live in the wild life I don't know yeah in their natural habitat yes in their natural habitat so I think it is related with this one because I don't like zoos for example these uh, of uh, the San Salvador Zoo, I don't like that zoo because you you'll see all that animals. I don't know, Very sad. like Very like sad. sick, sad, <laughs> bad and, condition, and see, in bad uh -huh. conditions. So mm -hmm. I think they need to uh, to stay in a different places. For example, it it is so different as Fureza, for example. Fureza, it is really different to a normal zoo as the San Salvador because they they made different, I don't know, aspects and cares to all that type of animals. Yeah, different administration. Administration, that, that's the word. Mm -hmm. But it, it's, it depends of the zoo because I went to Canada Oh, and then yes, the the course. zoo is very very it's too big too big yeah. it's too big uh -huh. so they take care of the animals too yes of course they got different economical situation too so yes. i mm -hmm. i think for that reason they they got all the things that the animals want mm -hmm. Oh, it takes you, it takes you animals to the next in zoos? question. Should animals be kept in zoos? Yeah. <laughs> in my case, no. No. For me, no. It's like better like a safari park or something like that, where yes. they can roam free for in in a big space, like their own space, natural space but not in cage, cage. jail, I don't know. So I, I think it's, it will be different with the birds, but the but birds have okay. been the birds, <laughs> a cacatoo, uh, I don't know. They have to fly so you can have them in a cage or in a zoo? I think birds are the biggest affected in that cases. Yeah. As you say, as you say, they needed to to stay 
in the nature because they they born free and if you yes. kept them in a cage it is okay they it is like they say um oh, i'm fine here i want to live here but that's not the the nature that they got inside all of them they want to be free yes yes wow the number seven is very interesting what are the biggest difference between animals and humans <sighs> I think we are similar in a lot of aspects. For example, we if something, for example, we got like a nature reactions at at different situations. For example, the animals can can be happy too, can be sad too. But I think um, the difference between they and us it is the I don't know how to say razonamiento. Teacher, how do you say razonamiento? Uh, the reason. The reason, okay. Yes. The reason. Because reason of course the they they think they think that things what they want to do, but that's more like a, comes from nature and we really think we can build things and do different things that they can do. Okay. I think they are better, better than us. <laughs> they yeah. surely are. They surely are. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't have uh, audio hate. Hate, no sé. Hate. Hate, uh huh. So they are uh, lovely too. Okay. Yeah, I think. Uh huh. They don't do, they don't do uh, wars and wars, right? Guerras. <laughs> yeah, war. They don't create wars. They yeah. don't create wars, aha. Uh -huh. So the human is very crazy. <laughs> they, like, oh my God. No. Oh. Yeah. Okay. But now, humans, let me, let humans, me ask, aha. Uh -huh. Humans uh, have, have, have lost the, the hair, the love. Uh, humans uh, are very, very strong. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think okay. we destroy everything. Astrid, uh, destroy. Yeah. Astrid, what do you think? What's the biggest difference between animals and humans? I think the biggest difference between animals and humans are maybe the capacity, capacity of, of thought, pensamiento. Yeah, thoughts. Okay and the capacity of develop in in a society or in a in a ambiental medium okay have you ever seen an animal that they destroyed their own natural habitat no, no I never know. only us only humans yes. only humans yes. yes yes okay i'll see you in a few minutes Okay. Okay. I don't like pets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've next two. I don't like. I don't like frogs. Fro yeah, frogs too. Oh yeah, this is other. Yeah. Oh, I cannot yeah. see a frog. Wow. <laughs> I, I love the sound they make. <laughs> Why? It's so awful. Oh, I, mean, no, I think I think it's cool. Like, I mean, maybe it's because <laughs> it's a sound that you don't hear every day. So when you hear it, you're like, yeah, it's nice. Only when it's raining, you can hear a lot of frog right. everywhere. Right, right. But I don't like it. Wow. Me neither. Mm. Uh -uh. You know, when I was younger, I, I had a fish tank, and in that fish tank, I had some exotic frogs. But I was younger, and, and I didn't see that, you know, like, frogs, they belong somewhere else, not in a fish tank. That was before, that was before. 
Really? You relay the, the frog? What is it? Uh, the soltaste. No, I gave them to a friend that he knew a lot about how to prepare the frogs before they went free. And that was in California. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The cocoa drive, I don't like to. All the rep, the, the reptiles, I don't like it. Reptiles are cool. No. No. Crocodiles are nice. No. In my house, at the at the ceiling, there is a taquasin. Really? Yeah. Uh, no, garrobo, garrobo. Oh. And and uh, sometimes I see see him. And I I get free. It's so scary for me seeing. Is it big? And no, no. It's it's small, but but it will grow more. Yeah, it will be worse. But I don't really like the the reptiles. Reptiles. Okay. The crocodiles are cool when you are far away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we finish with the questions. <laughs> okay, good. All right. So I think everybody needs to go back to the main session. Okay, teacher. Okay. Were you able to finish all the questions? Yes, we finished. Okay. Was there any question in particular where you had different points of view? Uh, yes. Which one? For example, uh, number, number seven. Uh-huh. The biggest difference. Oh. Okay. Between animals and humans, and um, um, the number nine. Okay. So everybody had different opinions. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I was visiting all the groups. In one group, someone says, look, I identify myself with a crocodile. And then in another group, someone says, oh, no, crocodiles, it's better if we see them, you know, there has to be a distance between the two, you know, so, so everybody has different opinions. Yeah. yeah, a very interesting exercise. Right, so, you know, and one, and there are times like when you say, I identify myself with particular animal, is because sometimes you wish you could have their talent or their ability to do something, mm. right? Okay, so uh, before we go, let me remind you that tomorrow we're going to have a session. Tomorrow. So, uh, because we, okay. we couldn't have the session, was it Monday? Monday. Monday. Yeah, Monday, because we were having issues with the passwords we had. So, our obligation yes. is to give you the four sessions a week. So, I will see you tomorrow, same place, same time. Okay, teacher. Okay. All right. Thank so you guys. guys have a good night. Get some good sleep. And tomorrow is a new day. All right. All right. So thank you very much. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Goodbye.